More on China's efforts to eradicate poverty. I'm joined now by Chang Hua Wu. She's the CEO of Beijing Future Innovation Center. She's a specialist in the field of sustainability. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. You know, China has made eradicating poverty by 2020 a priority. Uh, how has COVID-19 affected its goal to do so? Well, at this moment, I think China is among all the other countries definitely being impacted from the poverty alleviation in, uh, agenda perspective. Uh, but in the meantime, as we can tell from both the government and the society uh, support, uh, China definitely is still holding up and trying to deliver its commitment to end uh, extreme poverty by the end of this year. I do have the confidence. I think China is on the track to achieve the goal set already on the table. Uh, on one side, very positively, China probably will be the only country uh, that, you know, in the developing world that really can achieve this agenda, this, this goal. But in the meantime, as we can tell, in reality, COVID-19 and other challenges, particular job opportunities, the growth opportunities remain for China to figure out how to continue to lift the people's living standard, not only out of extreme poverty, which is measured by $1.90 per day per person, but more importantly, how to continue to improve that. So China, I think, is in that sort of context to see you know, new challenges emerge, and China has to figure out actually how to you know, get over uh, the current situation and continue to improve people's living standards. Is what's China doing a model that can be copied in other countries? I think China is already recognized as a role model. Uh, they're, they're, we see the commonalities there, right? And uh, in order to get people out of poverty, particularly extreme poverty, uh, the government, the public finance has to budget, has to be allocated towards that end. And uh, in the meantime, the government has to invest in education, health care, access to water, energy, sanitation, among all the others there. So both the physical and the social infrastructure. So you know, in, in terms of details, I think it definitely China's experience, you know, definitely is a role model. But of course, all the things happen in this special social economic context, the social political context there. So whether China's experience or the role model could be replicated in any other parts of the world, that remain to be seen. In the meantime, I think China has already started to take efforts to share its expertise or experience with many other developing countries. On a regular basis, you know, we, we see uh, colleagues or officials or uh, friends from African countries from other parts of the world coming to China to see, to learn, to do workshop and to do capacity building. So from that perspective, I do have a certain level of confidence. I think China's role model can be shared, and hopefully that will contribute to global effort to eradicate poverty. Are there consequences of a return to poverty uh, for some if the government shifts its focus uh, to other things like sustainability once it achieves its goal of eradicating poverty? Well, I think currently on the table we're talking about eradicating extreme poverty. I think that's the first tier uh, you know, goal at this moment. Uh, from broader sustainability perspective, uh, I think uh, poverty alleviation is a major part of the agenda of sustainable development. Uh, in the meantime, actually, we started to understand the connectivity, the nexus of poverty alleviation with many other social, environment, and economic goals there, which is sort of included in the UN Sustainable Development Goals context there. Uh, so this is not simply just to say, you know, people somehow having this level of income you know, uh, exceeding $1.90 per day per person. Rather, it's about how, to, how do you grow the economy, how you overcome social and environmental injustice, uh, inequality. Uh, it's about the institution, it's governance issues. It's about peace, violence, peace issues there as well. Very importantly, I think, from addressing poverty issues there, it's about the international collaboration. Uh, developed countries to have to continue to support many developing countries on this journey to eradicate uh, poverty, particularly now. I think the number one goal uh, of a sustainable development mm -hmm. goal uh, is, is put under tremendous pressure because of the COVID-19, because we have hundreds of millions of people slipping back to extreme poverty that com pretty much compromises how much we'll be able to achieve uh, eradication eradication poverty goal of sustainable development goal contest there. So more than ever, more urgently than ever, international community needs to work with each other and to really achieve this goal.